Hello everyone, good evening. This is Farhan Khan, your learning partner. Hope you all are doing good. So in today's session, we'll try to understand and get an overview of what AI Builders is. And we'll try to see a simple scenario where we can extract the data from a PDF file and send it to ourselves over, over an email. So let's just check it out. What you have to do is go to make.powerautomate.com and <clears throat> select AI Builder tab. Under this, we have extract custom information from the documents. We have this as a custom model. Click on to that. Create custom model. Apart from this, we will be using a power automate flow as well, an automated flow, which will be uh, triggering whenever an email is arrived so that uh, whenever we received a PDF file over the email, we'll be extracting the data from it and sending it to ourselves. Or maybe we can save it to our SharePoint list or in the database, anywhere we can do that. And we will be seeing those scenarios as well in the coming videos. And we'll be making another video onto that so that uh, we'll see how we can use it in our Power Apps. So I'll just name it as Extracted Data Flow. I'll use Outlook as a connector. When an email is arrived, create. I'm just creating it so that uh, it, it is taking time to you know to load. So now, if you see, we have uh, two types of uh, documents which we can use: unstructured document and a structured document. Structured document means like this, where the format of a document. Is specified and it is going to be constant throughout the tra training module you see this invoice invoice number bank transfer bill detail these all these details will be intact within the frame but the unstructured document could be anything like it could be in, in a paragraph it could be in a data table or it could be anywhere in the title so that is unstructured document and today we'll see an option of structured document training module click on next Now you see, choose information to extract. So now if you go over here, in the PDF, you will see there are multiple uh, options available. We have invoice number, we have pay to, we have date, and we have email address as well. So we would like to, uh, you know, uh, extract a few of the information from it. Let's see how we can do that. Click on the drop down, select field, I'll name it as invoice. Voice number, maybe. A2, that's the field. Date. So these three information we would like to extract from these PDFs which we'll be training in the AI training module. Click on next. So if you see now, we are having an option to add collection of documents. So minimum, we require at least five documents to train our AI model and you can go up to 20 so that it functions better. For now, we have five documents. Let's try to add those documents into it. Click over here, scroll down, add documents, my device, I have, all these documents in the AI folder. I'll add all the PDFs which I have. Maybe I'll arrange it by type. <clears throat> so now if you see, we have all these documents added over here. I have taken this uh, from the internet. You can also do, do the same thing. You can go to your internet, download any sample invoice and go to your paint and make changes into it so that you can also uh, train your AI model. I'll upload it. Done. Click next. So now if you see, we have all these five documents but we are seeing a red icon over here. It means that these single documents are not yet mapped to the fields which we have created. So what I'll do is one by one, I'll go to the invoices which I have and, and I'll map all those invoice, pay to and date 
to the extracted document invoice you see invoice number has been mapped to invoice pay to other so i have mapped it to other or maybe you can just select the name itself other date i will select date only okay. go to the next uh, document by clicking onto it it will load and then invoice you can select invoice invoice number pay to farhan khan we will select pay to now date we will select date like this you have to train all your 5 6 or 8 whatever the number of documents that you are uploading it's not like that that if you are uh, training only one document you can go ahead with that you have to train all your documents invoice number pay to james date was the document invoice number date fifth the last one invoice number jeff that's the date now what you have to do is you have mapped all your document you can see a check sign on all your documents which you have uploaded click on next now if you see five examples and five extracted name or information which you are willing to extract click on train it might take a minute or two to train our model meanwhile what i'll do is we'll go to the power automate desktop flow which we have created in the background click on show advanced option what you can do over here is you can specify include attachment yes because we will be getting this information over the email only you can filter it by subject if you would like to importance any only with attachment yes if you want you can also specify the sender so that if you are receiving an email from a specific domain or specific dl or specific email address you can also specify it from here the next option that we have is ai builder click on to that and now write extract extract information from the documents click over here it is still getting trained so you see the accuracy of this ai builder will be 86 percent so before using any model or any uh, uh, app you must be aware that you have to publish it so that it is available for all the uh, users and everyone so what you can do is go and click on publish so that you can also see this option so now if you see the model name is document processing if you would like to change the name of it you can also do that document extraction model i'll rename it next saved same collection i'll be using same text field same documents next i may have to click on train again it is just finalizing i'll go to the page and see the accuracy of it again to the 86 uh, percent now let's go and see if we can see it over here if you are not seeing it just go ahead and delete this step click on next step again ai builder extract extract information from business 
see document extraction model that's our AI window model which we have created form type it would be PDF documents form will be having it from the attachment so select attachment content so now if you see it is applying to each why because every single time we receive an email in our inbox it will be analyzing that attachment and extracting the information from it but what we need is we need those information again in our email as a text so what you can do you can add another action within this section and send an email send it to myself AI extracted data body we have voice a2 date so invoice will be mapped to invoice number value a2 will be mapped to if you don't see it, you can go ahead and search it in the Dynamic 365 content and date will be mapped to date value. So now we have all these options. Let's just try and save it. So we have our uh, AI Builder model ready. We have created our flow. The accuracy is 86%. Now let's try testing the same. I'll go to my Outlook. I'll create an email again and I'll send it to myself. AI data. And send it. So now, if you see, I have received an email, a PDF file in my inbox. So now I'm expecting my Power Automate flow to start automatically, open this AI3.pdf document extract all those information which we have mapped invoice pay to and date and send those details to us again on the email address so let's see if we receive an email address or email or not we'll wait for some time see we have received an email automatically, which is having all the diff uh, different options or all the different values that we have mapped. Invoice is double two, uh, double two, two, three, A to James and date. So now if you see there is a minor error into it because it is showing invoice twice. Why? Because when I was training this model, instead of selecting the invoice number only, I was selecting entire invoice hash. So that's the reason we, I'm seeing like this. So once you are trying to do it, just try to go ahead and select this information like this. You will be seeing a correct information. I hope you like the video and we'll be having another video on the AI Builder very soon, which will be using uh, Power Apps in the background. So uh, let's see how it goes. And I hope you like the video again. And thanks for your time and thank you. Thank you again.